Here's a statistical process control example from the Automotive Industry Action Group. And all of the big three automakers recommend that you take at least 125 individual samples in subgroups of five. Here you can see our spec limits, uh, 23.5 and 21.5 for the diameter of whatever this particular part is. So what we're going to do is just select this data with our mouse, click on the QI Macros menu, we can choose Control Chart Wizard. It'll automatically go run an X bar R chart. And here's our diameters. It prompts us for titles, but I'm going to just click through those. And so here you can see we have a process that is in statistical process control. There's no out of control points in here. So now we can come back to our data. Now that we've verified that yes, indeed, this is in statistical process control and it's, uh, predictable, you know, we, we can count on this, all right? Now we can come back and actually do our capability study. If you do a capability study before you, run, you figure out if your process is stable, you may get very bizarre results. So let's run the histogram on that same data. And our upper spec limit is 23.5 and our lower spec is 21.5. And we're just going to let it default to the number of bars and default to titles. And here you can see that we have a capability of 1.82, which is actually better than uh, 5 sigma, and CPK of 1.76. So our process is centered. Uh, it's well within our specifications. And it's delivering on what we expect. PP and PPK, as you can see here, 175 and 170, are very close to our CP and CPK measures. So that means that, again, that's kind of confirming that we have a process that's in uh, statistical process control. So now we can set our limits and continue to add data and check this as we go along, looking for shifts in our process. That's how easy it is to establish that your process is working properly, it's capable, right, and that you can count on it to deliver what you want.